That was Jennifer Carence with Every Move I Make. Here on your radio station, AM 930, The Light, Edmonton's Positive Talk. Well, it's time for us to go to prayer. So whether your need is physical, spiritual, emotional, intellectual, financial, or family, I want you to know today that even before the request is out of your mouth, the answer is already on the way. Now, of course, we're coming into the weekend, and it is time to go to the house of the Lord. It was David who said, I was glad when they said, let us go to the house of the Lord. So, Father, today, I pray for congregations that, Lord, as they meet this weekend, it will be truly a celebration. Many congregations are going to be enjoying communion that time, of course, where we celebrate the broken body and the shed blood of Jesus Christ, the wonderful death, burial, and resurrection. So, Lord, thank you for that. And today, I pray for the proclaimers of the word. Father, I pray today that each one of them would have your power, your authority, your anointing, your enablement, your wisdom, your clarity, and boldness. And Father, we thank you for those who proclaim the Word of God. The par powerful thing about preaching and hearing the Word of God, it builds our faith. It was Paul who said, Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. And Lord, thank you for that. Thank you for anointed proclaimers. And thank you, Lord, for the word of God, which is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. Help us, Lord, to not only hear the word, but also do the word as well. Also as well, Lord, for congregations that will be gathering together this weekend. Lord, as we learned a little bit earlier, you know, when one participates in in music and also in singing. It is good for our brain health, but it's also, Lord, good for our soul, our spirit. And Lord, I pray that everyone this weekend would participate when the opportunity is given. And also as well, Lord, when prayer is offered in the uh, local assemblies, that Lord, not only would we receive the prayer, but Lord, it would change our lives. And that's what we're praying for this weekend when it comes to churches, congregations. Father, thank you for the opportunity to gather together and to celebrate you and what you have done in our lives. Also as well, Lord, we thank you that you are Jehovah Jireh, our provider. That means that you're going to supply every need according to your riches and glory. We're going to receive that right now. Lord, whatever our need is today, you're going to supply. And we thank you in advance. Also as well, Lord, we thank you today for your wonderful healing touch. First Peter 2.24 is the scripture that we stand upon today that tells us, Lord, that by your stripes we're healed. So Lord, whatever we're facing today, wherever we may be, thank you. For your healing touch. And thank you, Lord, that it's also being wonderfully exhibited and demonstrated in the lives of our family and friends today. Also, as well, Lord, help us to be encouragers today. In fact, it tells us in Psalm 37, 23, the steps of a good person are ordered by the Lord. So, Father, today, let us look for opportunities, because you will bring them about, especially if we're looking. In fact, we're told to watch. We're told to be available. So, Lord, we're going to make that choice today that we're going to be available. And, Lord, help us to think of someone today that may need a phone call, a text, an in-person visit. Either way, Lord, let us be listening to the Holy Spirit and available to touch others for those today. Also as well, Lord, we thank you today that Acts 16.31 is the scripture that we stand upon that says, not only are we going to be saved, but our household as well. Again, we pray for divine intervention in the lives of our family and friends today. And Lord, we want to thank you for all of these things. In your name we pray, Jesus. Amen.